Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph again, coming to you from Praise Christian Center World Outreach in Houston's East Side, Channel View, Texas, the great, great city of Channel View. Why is it a great city? Because Praise Christian Center World Outreach is here in Channel View on, again, Houston's East Side. Want to invite you to come to our services on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m. I guarantee your life will be blessed and I guarantee you the word would help to put you on the road to maximization in your life. God is a faithful God, and he has you on his mind. I was, I was in different places here recently, and, uh, and I've run into people that used to be a part of the church that were, uh, had moved to the other side of town and moved out of town, and they happened to be able to, to be in touch with those precious people. And even to this day, they tell me that the foundations of their lives, why they are where they are today, is because of the word that they received from this ministry while they were here. I tell you, God, <clears throat> I tell you, God is so good and God has so much for you. Oh my God. And I tell you, it's a lasting foundation that you can receive as you receive the word of God. Now let's go back to this. I want to talk to you again about patience. Amen. Listen to what this says. I waited patiently for the Lord. Listen to this. I love this. He turned to me and heard my cry. Psalms 40 and 1. Can I, can I read that to you again? He says again, I waited patiently. What? Patiently for the Lord. Who? The Lord. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. Wow. That's a very powerful passage of scripture. And it's powerful because it says something here that it connects us back to another scripture and many other scriptures. But I want to share this with you from 1 John chapter 5. and uh, It says this. Ask anything... If we ask anything according to the will of God, he hears us. And knowing that he hears us, watch, listen very carefully, we know we have the petition that we desire of him. So whatever, when I pray according to the will of God, and I know he's heard me, then I know without a shadow of a doubt that I have what I asked him for. Look back here again at this psalm. In the 37th psalm, I'm sorry, the 40th psalm, it says, I waited patiently for the Lord. And it's so awesome. He turned to me. And heard my cry. Same principle. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Now, here's another passage of Scripture. It says, we also have joy with our troubles because we know that these uh, troubles produce patience. And patience produces character. And character produces hope. And this hope will never disappoint us because God, because God has poured out his love to fill our hearts. He gave us his love through the Holy Spirit whom God has given us. Wow. Think about that just a moment. Listen to that again. Listen to some of the points here. We also have joy in trouble. Hmm. When things are not going well, we should still have joy. My God. We don't allow the enemy to trump us down. We don't allow the enemy to stamp us down. When trouble comes, we still have joy. You know, a lot of times we hear things that we don't want to hear. We experience things we don't want to experience, but there should always be joy in your heart. You should never, ever, hallelujah, have to just run from what has been spoken and what has been done because joy should always be in your heart. And you know, whatever God is doing, God's going to work it out. Hallelujah. Because why? Because he loves you and he is the one that gives you assignments and he is the one that allows certain things to come into your life. Hallelujah. But you never, ever lose your joy. If the devil can, it was a book somebody wrote, wrote a long time ago, if the devil can't steal your joy, hallelujah, he can't mess with your life. He can't disturb your life. But don't let him have your joy. He can't take your goods. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. And it says, because we know that troubles, pro uh, troubles produce patience. Now how, hmm, how is trouble going to produce patience? Well, when you go through things and you know the living God and you know the word of God, you will be patient in every situation and circumstance that arises in your life because you have confidence in a living God. You know that God is with you. You know that God will never forsake you, knowing that God himself is the almighty and that you have put your trust in him. So troubles, when trouble arises, troubles will make you, watch this, develop patience. Amen. Amen and amen. Why why would I why would I even think about 
trouble, and it causes me to be patient because I know troubles come. And I know troubles challenge our lives, but I also know the great and almighty God who has given me patience. And so I'm going to exercise my patience even when trouble arises. The enemy wants to destroy your mind. He wants to keep you in turmoil in your mind. He wants to put you in fear about things. But we have patience because we trust God over fear. We choose God over all the turmoil. We choose God over all the trouble. And therefore, we are patient.